So, Beatty? Name's Quinlan. I'm a friend of Catherine Powell's. I was wondering when you're going to come by. I read about Catherine in the paper. I told her she was getting too close to that maniac. Well, she never told me anything about you. What was she coming to see you about? Take it easy, cowboy. Mine hasn't worked in years. Besides, Catherine didn't dig the training wheels. I was her source, and that was it. What did you do for Catherine? Like I do for anybody. I do what needs doing. I run a little B and E in the net, melt some ice, do a little handwriting analysis. Hey, I got my code for everything. Well, selling smoke and melting ice don't go together. Strange qualifications for a shopkeeper. Hey, in the net everything is in link, Quinlan. The shop is the shop. In cyberspace, I can walk. I can run. I can fucking dance, baby. What do you sell? Whatever you need, Mr. Quinlan. Whatever you need. Just received a full shipment of Virginia Red Leaf, laced with Lucitrell. Got a full range of smart drugs. You know, to catch the Ripper, you're gonna have to outthink him. And for what Catherine tells me, you can use chemical assistance. What was she investigating? She was trying to make a connection between the Ripper's murder victims. So you're like a deck jock then. Are there any new innovations in cyberspace I should know about? Well, notional engineering made some big advances, but the basic idea is still the same. Most of the angels you meet will be prepackaged product from Trans Tech or or Rembrandt's environment. Only the Ace Angels can design their own wings. So there shouldn't be any surprises waiting for me. I didn't say that. I mean, it's just that things will look familiar. Everybody you meet will either be a rendered image or a video image that looks awfully real. Of course, you only get video from the best hackers or from direct brain images. What do you think about the ice soap? Why are you so worried about ice? I have a feeling it's going to get worse. Your girlfriend had the same feeling. There's some really bizarre stuff on the net these days. Ever since Rembus came up with that software with the Ice Maker program, you know anybody with a deck can construct their own ice. Bizarre stuff. Oh yeah, attack dogs, giant rats, minefields, monkey balls, you name it. I can't tell you how to prepare for that world, brother. You's on your own. Goes there, murderer, murderer of the English language, maybe. I'm just a journalist. Be aware, you. I've got weapons here that can render you helpless. Relax, old timer. I'm not here to hurt anybody. I'm just after some information. You, sir, stand in my domain, and the question is, who are you? Speak quickly. Jake Quinlan, from the Virtual Herald. Quinlan, Quinlan, I, I know that name. You're the one who, who speaks for the Ripper. No, I don't speak for him. He just writes me letters and we print them. They're news. But who are you? I thought the owner of this house was dead. <laughs> one of them is my twin brother, Hamilton, and he finished what he called the most fascinating project. Of his life, and then I, I found him, shot dead right here in this room. And I thought he'd just fallen asleep. What did the police tell you?、Uh, the police, bah! I'm sure they're in on it. You think the police are in on your brother's murder? It's obvious. The way they were rooting around in Hamilton's work, kept asking him for his well address, and threatened to lock me up if I didn't tell them. But they got nothing out of me. They took away cartons of his discs, but they won't find anything there. Hamilton was too smart for them too. Was the cop a guy named Magnata? 
Yeah. <laughs> I should have vaporized him. You'll get nothing out of me. I'm sure. Why don't you tell me about your brother's work? You don't know? He was famous. Or he should have been. He built virtual worlds. Places from history and locations from the future. And you walk through them in cyberspace like walking through the corridors of time itself. And he was a genius like Leonardo. And what was he working on in the end? As I told you, mum's the word, as he would say. And all I know, it was something involving stranger research than usual. And he came out of cyberspace one night and he told me he'd spent the day in an English music hall. And that's all I can remember. Wow. Who was your brother working for? What makes you so sure that I know? Well, we all can find him somewhere. A brother's a good place to start. I don't know. Hamilton. Hey, 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 you all right? He's dead. I know, it's hard. But you must have some way to at least find out who he was working for. My brother thought that he was protecting me, uh, I suppose. Yeah. Of course, how's the killer supposed to know he didn't tell me everything? Ah, <laughs> besides, I'm trustworthy as the day is long. It's not like I'm going to tell anyone about his secret hiding places. Excuse me, what, 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 what are you talking about? What about hiding places? Uh, you know about the hiding places, huh? huh? Well, then, you know more than I do. Hamilton was like Leonardo. I tell you, with devices and concealments, components hidden in secret compartments all over the blasted house. And if I could just find them, I could plug them in and get his, well, address. But I don't know where the hell half of them are anymore. Maybe I should just clean the whole place out and move. But in other words, I have to locate and unlock secret compartments in his cottage to find the address to Hamilton Cyberspace well? <laughs> well, well, yeah, that's the idea. Doubt you're clever enough to do it, though. Doubt you can do it. <laughs>